AITA for having my brother and Sil stay in our daughter's room when they visit at Thanksgiving? My first time making a post like this. I will try to keep it brief, but descriptive. My husband, 26 meters, and I, 26 F, recently bought a house. It's a four bedroom, three bath. It's a large house and the bedrooms are decently sized. We have three kids so each of our kids gets a room. Daughter is eight, oldest son is six, youngest is four. They all share the upstairs bathroom. My husband and I have the master bedroom and bathroom. My brother and his wife, along with their one-year-old son, are visiting for Thanksgiving for two weeks. We told them we would give them our daughter's room as it's the largest and has a queen-sized bed. Our daughter will just sleep in one of our son's rooms. We were planning on making it look really nice in there for them. Giving them new sheets and bedding, making sure that all of my daughter's things are put away, etc. Anyway, my mother says that my husband and I are being extremely rude and inconsiderate for not giving them our master bedroom and bathroom. She said it's just not right that they will have to share the upstairs bathroom with our kids while they're here. I honestly did not think we were being inconsiderate at all. My brother was very happy when I told him they could stay with us, because they wouldn't have to pay for a hotel slash Airbnb. He didn't seem at all like he minded they would be in our daughter's room. AITA? Edit to add a bit more background, my parents and my brother and his family both live across the country. My sister and her husband, along with my family, live within 30 minutes from each other. We decided that we are having Thanksgiving here. So my sister is having my parents stay with her. To put it nicely, my sister is a suck up. Always has been with my mom. So she offered for my parents to stay in their master bedroom and my sister and her husband will stay in their other bedroom. I feel like that bit of information might be pertinent to this. Just because I think my mom is basically implying that my husband and I are not being as accommodating as my sister is towards them. Second edit. My daughter and I talked and she told me she is fine giving up her room for the two weeks. She is so excited to see them and she said it's not a big deal to her. My daughter is 8. Oldest son is 6 and youngest is 4. Oldest son has a twin bed in his room. Youngest has a bunk bed in his room from when the boys shared a room in our old house. I am giving my brother and Sil our daughter's room since it's largest and has a queen bed. I am probably going to have my two sons just sleep together with the bunk bed and then put my daughter in the room with the twin bed. So she at least has her own space and privacy. Lastly, yes two weeks is a long time lol. But my brother and I are very close and we only get to see his family about once a year. It's a sacrifice and of course it can be stressful. But my whole family is so excited for them to be with us. I wanted to say thank you for all of the feedback everybody. I genuinely was worried that I was being inconsiderate or not a good host so thank you for the resounding NTA feedback. I think my mother is just being extra delusional and wants to have a say in every single thing that goes on in the family. I'm going to stick to my guns and just tell her that if she is seriously that concerned about it, she could always get them a nice hotel or Airbnb. Geez, I'm gonna pull an I'm so old rat. I remember when people were appreciative that you had a pull out couch for them to sleep on and everyone in the house was sharing the same one bathroom. Yes, I am very old lady. This is such a first world complaint by your mom. NTA. NTA I wouldn't feel comfortable staying in someone else's master bedroom and would refuse it or at least attempt to. Temporarily relocating your daughter and making the room up for them is already you being a fantastic host your mother is a busybody who should keep her nose out of your business. And you should just laugh at her and tell her that she's wrong. LOL, when my brother visited I gave him an air mattress in the basement. NTA. NTA. Your mother is crazy. If I was expected to give up my bedroom whenever I had guests I would literally never have guests. Two weeks is a bit of a long stretch however so good luck with that. 
Guests, like fish, begin to smell after three days. Benjamin Franklin NTA, and do not invite your parents over. They will expect to get the master bedroom. This is just a prelude to their entitlement. NTA you're making reasonable accommodations. Just because you have guests doesn't mean you have to give them the clothes off your back. If your mom is so concerned, she can host them at her own home. NTA, there's no reason for you to give up the primary bedroom. Especially since the guests are fine with their arrangement. If it bothers your mother so much, she can treat them to a hotel. 100% NTA. Your mother is being absurd. Absolutely nothing wrong with what you're offering your brother and Syl. NTA. Two weeks is a long time for them to visit. If they or your mother have a problem with the free accommodations you provide them, they can make other arrangements. NTA. I'm sorry, I'm not giving up my master to anyone for two weeks. Big no. NTA. Bedroom is very private space. I don't understand PPL even thinking someone should vacate their own private space for visitors. When I visit my friends or family for longer I expect sleeping in guest room. Couch or air mattress. NTA. If your parents think it's so inconsiderate then they should let their son and Dill stay with them and take their master bedroom. NTA. For the amount of money they are saving, no one should be bitching about where they sleep. And since your house has three bathrooms, I would imagine they could use the third bathroom so they wouldn't have to share with the kids. My guests sleep either in the grandkids' room or in the living room on air mattresses. As for your sister, if she is so accommodating, and feels she is better, then she can have them stay there with her, as well. NTA. Why would you give up your own bed? When I have company, they get the pull-out sofa or the air mattress. In Ta, you are accommodating them the best you can. Your mother is off base. Suggest your mother give up her room for them. Sheen stay in your daughter's room. Clearly NTA, your mother is self-serving, don't be her enabler. No rules of etiquette include giving up your own bed. Simply tell her, don't negotiate, that your bedroom will be occupied, but your daughter will graciously make hers available. If she tries to talk you into changing your mind, just go on auto-repeat, even using exactly the same response over and over, with a smile on your face. My guess would be you have a history of caving to your mother. So that is now her expectation. You can break the pattern or continue the pattern your choice. Why isn't your mom concerned about your daughter giving up her room for two whole weeks? That's just nuts. Is your daughter really okay with this? Does she understand that she's basically going to be camping out in her brother's room for two weeks without privacy? And, no, NTA for not giving up your room. That's just weird. NTA, does your mom offer their master bedroom whenever they get visitors? NTA is this like a location, cultural expectation? To give guests the master bed plus bath? Cause where I'm from this is not a thing. Guests stay in guest rooms if the house has one or some other room that can be made available perhaps a child's bedroom or a den, basement situation. I cannot imagine going to visit anyone and being given the adult's bedroom or having guests take over mine. That is uncomfortable on so many levels. NTA. No. Sorry. Master bedrooms are for the couple that owns the house. Your mom is out of line. I've seen on here that in some Eastern cultures, that's not the case, and I'm not judging that situation at all. I am assuming this post is about a Western country. Your sister can be a suck-up all she wants. That doesn't mean you have to 
Does your mom give up her bedroom when you visit with your three kids? I'm betting no. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.